What's up bros? Welcome back to another product spotlight video. I am pumped to bring you this video debuting Mackie's brand new line of professional powered loudspeakers. Everybody say hello to the brand new SRT series. Speakers designed with DJs and musicians in mind. Awesome quality sound at a price that won't break the bank. The SRT series is composed of four different models. A 10 inch, 12 inch, and 15 inch speaker. All packing a industry leading class D amplifier packing a whopping 1600 watts of power and featuring a peak output of 128, 132, and 133 dBs respectively. These speakers are priced at $499, $599, and $699 respectively. Additionally, the SRT series also features an 18 inch sub packing that same industry leading class D amplifier with a whopping 1600 watts of power and a peak output of 133 dBs coming in at a price of $799. Now for this review, Mackie has sent over the SRT215. This is the 15 inch speaker that you see right beside me. Let's take a closer look at the Mackie SRT215. Custom high efficiency transducers to ensure maximum clarity and accuracy. A four channel mixer, full color DSP, adjustable EQ, different voicing modes for different applications, alignment delay, 10 adjustable custom presets as well as Bluetooth with a range of up to 100 meters and a auxiliary channel featuring an 8th inch jack. Upon unboxing your speakers you'll be greeted with a quick start guide instruction manual and warranty information as well as a IEC power cable to power your speakers. Taking your speakers out of the box you'll be greeted with this beautiful circular pattern running across the grill of the speaker no gimmicks here it's just an elegant sleek sexy looking speaker love what Mackie has done with these speakers here on the bottom you also have a green LED indicator light which I also kind of like I like the fact that it's nice and big these speakers also feature three handles one on the left right and top of the speaker additionally rubber feet on both sides allowing you to use these as a monitor and aside from monitor placement these speakers can also be flown with the joint on top. These speakers also feature two tripod mounts. One allowing you to mount the speakers straight up just like I have right here. You can also mount these angled down towards the audience if you have these nice and high. If we take a look at the rear of the unit you'll notice the mixer section as well as our on off power button. On channels one and two you'll notice combo jack XLR quarter inch inputs as well as direct out XLR outputs. On channel three four you have an auxiliary eighth inch input Input. This is great, especially if you're a mobile guy and you need to plug in something for cocktail. You can just go right in with an aux cord. Additionally, you have a full mix out. The built-in DSP has volume indicators for all channels as well as a menu button allowing you to take further control of your speakers. It allows you to choose from different EQ modes including flat, live, speech, club, or monitor. This speaker also features Bluetooth allowing you to send wireless audio signals. And of course, you have a configuration configuration menu allowing you to take further control of your speakers. Now a thing to note and one of my favorite features about this speaker is some of those same features that we just talked about found on the DSP can also be triggered using your iPhone or Android device. Simply by downloading the Mackie SRT Connect app you can have full access to your speakers. As you guys can see here you have a three band EQ on top with your lows, your mids, and highs. You can adjust these to your liking and just like we saw on the DSP you can also adjust the speaker voicing settings setting it to flat, live, speech, club, or monitor. Club is my favorite. It boosts the bass just a little bit giving it a bit more punchy sound and you have other stuff like adjusting your subwoofer settings. You can also set and recall up to 10 different EQ settings that you've previously set and additionally you can also adjust settings like LED and screen brightness. All right, so obviously those specs are pretty impressive. And to be honest, that's the same jargon. Those are the same specs that you're gonna find with any manufacturer, with any speaker at this price point. So it competes right hand in hand with other manufacturers like QSC, EV, and JBL. But that's not what you guys clicked on this video for. You guys clicked on this video because you guys wanna know how these speakers sound. You guys wanna know whether or not the sound that these speakers produce just justify your investment, justified your hard earned money. So 
It's officially time to do a sound demo, a sound test on the SRT series. Let's see how they sound. So, what you guys think? These bad boys don't sound half bad. Let me know your opinions down in those comments below. But, I will say this. The sound that you just heard is not an actual real world representation of what these speakers sound like because whenever I do these speakers review, I always say it, but I'll say it again in this one. What you're hearing is essentially the audio from the speakers being recorded by my camera and the microphone on my camera. So it's not a real world indication of what they'll sound like. So it's hard to justify the sound that you just heard as the sound that's delivered from these speakers. However, you do have me and I'm here to share with you my opinions on the sound quality of these speakers. Now, first thing I have to address, Mackie promised 133 dBs of peak output and unfortunately, as hard as I could, I pushed them and I pushed them and I pushed them and I just could not get them to cross that 133 dB mark. Now, that doesn't mean that they're not as loud as they promise. Peak actually means that at some point, they do promise that these can hit 33. I will say though, I was able to cross 120 dBs with these speakers, no problem. And when I ran them continuous, they hovered at around 110 to 115. And let me just tell you this, at those high volumes, these speakers sounded great. They did not suffer from fatigue, even running them for multiple hours. Now, one of my favorite tests that I like to run with any set of speakers that I get for review is I just like to go ahead and plug them in, turn the volume all the way up to see how they perform under stress. And I'm happy to report that this speaker passed. I noticed no distortion, no loss of quality when I'm up at higher volumes. Now as far as clarity on the highs, it sounds great, but unfortunately on the low, it is where it suffers just a bit. The lows weren't as punchy, weren't as boomy as I personally like. However, that is an easy fix. You can easily EQ it using your phone or using the DSP on the back of the speaker. Additionally, the right way to do it would be to just invest in the sub. Keep in mind that the SRT series does have an 18 inch sub and if you add that, which honestly you should with any speakers that you use, you will get a fuller sounding sound system. Alright, so in conclusion, I must admit I am pretty happy with these speakers. They sound great, sound quality is top notch, I love the beautiful sound sexy design. Now something that might turn a couple of you guys off would be the plastic build, but do keep in mind that Mackie does offer a similar version of the speaker which pretty much packs the same specs. Check out the DRM series which I also did a review on. It's listed up in the link above. Additionally, it'll be listed in the description of this video. If some of you guys are more fans of a wood build, then check out the DRM series. Aside from that, in my opinion, this sounds great. I actually do like this build because it makes them lighter and also as you can hear it is no cheapy plastic it's a pretty solid plastic listen to this it's built like a tank, it's ready for the road, perfect for DJs, musicians. I love the inputs and outputs, definitely had mobile DJs in mind. So if you're a mobile DJ or a band, musician, whatever it may be, these things are ready. All the inputs and outputs that you'll need, even that eighth inch input makes these speakers great. And I love the fact that you can take further control of your speakers using your phone. But ultimately, my opinion doesn't really matter. The only opinion that matters is yours. So 
grows. I'd love to get your opinions, your questions, comments, and concerns down in those comments below. Additionally, I'll be leaving some reference links where you can purchase as well as more information about these speakers in the description of this video. Please support my channel by hitting that like button, subscribing if you're new around here, and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another speaker review. Big shout out to Mackie for sending the speakers over for a review, and I'll catch you bros in my next one. Peace.